5 eo 4 in has a new one out. Storytime is the title. I've been hearing a lot of positive mwah, things about it. 5 eo 4 in is a New York rapper, and if you guys are uh, not aware, he does a lot of drill shit, and he is also fresh off of a monster feature on the new Kanye West record, Donda, where uh, I've, I've said... Personally, I believe like, you know, prior to that feature, he was kind of hiding his power level a little bit like, you know, contrast that, for example, with his double XL uh, freshman, you know, appearances and performances, which like was not was not good at all. They were not good. Uh, five year was like sweating it out during those performances and just did not seem together. Now, uh, 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 yes, yes, McFarlane, please. Um and if you're not, I am. Uh, Fabio was kind of sweating it out during those double XL performances. Um, but, uh, you know, in his defense, uh, many of those performances were not very good. So, uh, you know, it, it's, it's maybe there was something in the air. Maybe uh, everybody was kind of off their game. Maybe there was some reason it wasn't, uh, uh, you know, good for everybody across the board. I don't know. But uh, either way, we have a brand new track out here. Story time again is the title. And uh, let's give this one a listen. But bam. Shit. What the fuck? That was uh, incredible. I thought it was great. Uh, some people in the chat were kind of commenting on the mix being like, Weird. It was super saturated. It was like aggressively fucking saturated at points, but um, I, I didn't really mind it. I didn't really mind it too much. I think for a very explosive, aggressive track like this, it, it kind of fit the bill. And Five Yo cut through the mix vocally pretty well. I could hear pretty much every single thing he was saying. I could hang on every word he was conveying. So it didn't really become too much of an issue personally. Um, look, it was like a really gigantic. Uh, almost cinematic drill beat, you know, just kind of those classic grooves and bass lines like we've been hearing over and over and over for the past, you know, couple of years now at this point. Um, but on top of that, like, Fivio told a really compelling story of this uh, kid essentially entering into the prison system and just, like, went over every gritty detail. And, uh, God, he just like, didn't really miss a beat. And the rhyme schemes along the way were really creative too. He was like saying a lot, but it didn't feel like he was overstating anything. It didn't feel like he was talking so much. He was kind of like, you know, muddling the flow up or anything. He was, um, I don't think the flow was whack at all. I mean, if you actually have listened to five EOS tracks, that's, that's kind of a flow that he goes with pretty often. You know, I mean, if, if anything, um, this is more of a flow that, uh, uh, you know, 5 EO is uh, pretty comfortable with at this point, you know. Um, I mean, maybe maybe in a way that's a mark against it in that it was kind of uh, to be expected, but um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think the flow is bad at all. Um, maybe some of the flows over these drill beats sound kind of odd to you. I don't know why. Uh, well, I mean, you know, it's, it's still, you know, kind of making a lot of headway out there. <coughs> But uh, I thought the flow was fine. I, I didn't really have a, an issue with the uh, five yo can't rap. In what way can he not rap? He literally like rapped with incredible lyrical detail, everything going on in the situation. Honestly, like I was uh, at the end of it, I was feeling like, shit, this is only two minutes and 42 seconds. Like I feel like <laughs> I feel like you could go another three minutes telling the rest of this story. You know what I mean? Um, I thought it was great. I thought it was really good. Uh, you know, look, I'm, I'm not the type of person who, you know, automatically just like shits on something because it's just meant to be fun or it's meant to be a banger. I mean, you know, we celebrate and love our uh, share of, of bangers over here. But, you know, th there is something in terms of like a lot of mainstream hip hop right now. It, it's it's sort of missing that storytelling element that used to be a little bit more integral to, you know. Um, to the genre, especially at its, um, you know, some of its golden age moments uh, in the 80s and 90s. And, uh, you know, this feels like a, a new iteration of that and uh, just came together really well. And uh, while, uh, you know, I 
don't want 5EO to completely abandon the idea of just like doing a straightforward track, doing a hit, something that's going to, you know, play over well and go viral, that sort of thing. Um, it's great to know that he has the talent to do this as well. And I hope that as he continues to put out tracks and, you know, pull together a, a new project, he keeps songs like this in his arsenal and is not shy about approaching uh, more tracks like this because this was uh, really good in my opinion. This was good. I thought this was quite good. Uh, 5 EO 4 and story time. I thought it was a banger. I thought it was a thoughtful banger. Thank you very much for watching this New Music Friday stream clip over on TND Streams. To see future New Music Fridays, hit up our Twitch page at twitch.tv slash the needle drop. To see some past ones, hit up our Patreon page linked near me or down below in the description. Also get some bonus monthly content in the process too over there. And yeah, see you guys in the next clip forever.